Question number four. A client has a history of herpes simplex infection. As a nurse, you know that a client is at risk for developing Bell's palsy. Which of the following information should the nurse include in giving the health teaching? A. To prevent Bell's palsy, do facial exercises regularly. B. You should call the doctor if pain or herpes lesions occur near the ear. C. You should take antiviral agents to prevent the development of Bell's palsy. Or D. Medications to treat Bell's palsy work only if started before paralysis onset. So let's go through these answer options one by one. In option A, to prevent Bell's palsy, do facial exercises regularly. Facial exercises do not prevent Bell's palsy. In option B, you should call the doctor if pain or herpes lesions occur near the ear. Bell's palsy can be caused by a virus, such as the herpes simplex virus. So this option is correct and they should call their doctor because the pain or herpes lesions near the ear may indicate the onset of Bell's palsy. In option C, you should take an antiviral agent to prevent the development of Bell's palsy. Corticosteroid therapy, not antivirals, will be most effective in reducing symptoms if started before paralysis is complete, but will still be somewhat effective if started later. In option D, medications to treat Bell's palsy only work if started before paralysis onset. This is not true. They are still effective if taken after the paralysis. Making the final and correct answer option here, B. All right guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video question and rationale as well as the other videos. Like I mentioned before, if you have a specific video request, please post it below. That's where we get all of our video ideas. Pretty much every video that you see on this channel has been requested by you. So all right guys, Please subscribe to the channel and also sign up for email updates and I cannot wait to see you again soon. I love you so much. Bye.